Right. Are you all ready to go? and it already feels like Christmas. This year I feel like we've gotten into the Christmas spirit nice and early, which is such a refreshing change for us. I sort of stopped doing Christmas for a while. Once I got a bit older, I got a bit over it. But since I've had Andre, I just, I love Christmas. I just love to spoil him as much as I can. Um, but we put our Christmas tree up the other day, which again is really early for us. And today we are going to a Christmas party that a few of the mums have put on for the kids, which is gonna be really good. We're just having we were going to go down to the park, but because of the bad weather that we've been having, it's really wet. So we're just going down to the local pub. Um, it's got a big play centre for the kids and we're doing like secret centre and things like that. So I think it'll be really fun. Um, but as I said, I just can't wait for Christmas. So I've tried to be a bit more Christmassy today. Um, I'm trying to wear like red and green. I don't own anything Christmassy. So I'm just trying to work with what I got. But it's nice and early, so I'm going to go get Andre dressed and I'm going to try and find something Christmassy for him to wear. Then I need to run to the shop and get some wrapping paper to wrap his secret Santa present because I leave everything to the last minute. That is my style. That is what I do. Everything is last minute in my life. I create my own stress. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm going to do for now and I'll check in with you guys later. Are you all ready to go? I found a Christmas hat and a Christmas shirt. He's got his jeans and his Nikes on. <laughs> you so cute. <laughs> you want to go outside? <laughs> so it's a miracle. I found a Christmas hat and I found a Christmas shirt. It is three sizes too big, but he still looks beautiful and he's going to rock it. And yeah, so we're on our way now, just on my way to Coles. Just gonna get some nibblies and some wrapping paper because yeah, I'm gonna have to get scissors and sticky tape as well because I didn't bring any of the above because I don't think forward. Hi. Jenna. Hi. Is that uh which one you want first? You want this one? Oh look at that. Oh wow. Oh boy. That's a good one, Andre. Oh, they got to be separate, do they? <laughs> good job. Oh, your cucumbers on the floor. 
Hi, please excuse the hair. I washed it this morning um, and I was gonna do it, but I just don't have time to do it tonight. So where it's gonna go back up in a bun as per usual. The last time I checked in was on Thursday um, and we were on our way to the kids' Christmas party, which they absolutely loved. Thank you so much, Michelle, for organizing it for them. You're an absolute angel. It was so good to catch up with everyone and everyone rocked up, which was nice. So last night I ended up at another Christmas event, but I wasn't speaking to you guys very much because I have been so sick the last two days. It's like 5.30 at night and I've just gotten up. Um, but I did get footage of the kids. It was down at Penrith and they had like the lighting of the Christmas tree and um like little rides and stalls and things like that so that was a really good night out justin came with us and um chloe and xander and michelle and james so that was really fun the boys got little bubble guns and they were very happy they were very happy so i'll show you a little bit of footage from last night kids had a lot of fun. Once Dre got home he was absolutely exhausted. Excuse the mess in the background. The lighting got really dark so I just thought I'd move it but um, the original plan tonight was just to go down to the local shops where they're doing some carols but I thought it might be a little bit boring. So now we are going to just a couple of suburbs away and they're doing more of like a big Christmas event where they've got like Santa coming and they're doing like a movie night and um, they've got like a petting zoo and stuff, which I thought, you know what, Joe will probably enjoy more. Uh, Chloe's going to that tonight as well, so it'll be nice to hang out again. And Dre's been so good while I've been sick. He's sort of been hanging out next to my bed, watching TV, but um, he's been good. So we feel like he deserves to go out again. And it'll wear him out, of course. But to be honest, I really don't feel like going anywhere. But I'll do it for Dre. 
I'd rather just be in bed, to be honest. So this year, Thursday we had the Christmas party, Friday we went to the tree lighting, and tonight we're going to another Christmas event. And it's only the 1st of December. So I'm really excited for like the month that's coming up because there's obviously going to be so many more Christmas events and it gets Dre out of the house and, and he loves the chaos. So I'm really excited this year for Christmas. I thought I was excited last year, but I feel like as he gets older, it's just going to get more and more exciting every year. So yeah, I'm loving it. So I'm going to go finish getting ready and then I'm going to go get Dre ready and then we need to go because it is already so late and it started like two hours ago. Alright. Excuse me, are you going out again? up going out and that was a bit of a flop because the place is not really toddler proof as you know there's just water everywhere and a thousand people and Dre was so tired anyway look at him but that was tired we went to the park afterwards at least he half enjoyed that but um yeah it was a bit of a flop time to get a bed baba <laughs> look at the bags on the eyes. Oh, look, and he scraped his knee. Oh. 